Ooh, welcome, man. Let's go this way. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, is this a three? This is a three six Pentastar, guys. Use. See, this look like one uh, assurance adjuster was seeing. I guarantee you, this. That's likely. This problem was likely induced. Anytime you see one of these used motors like this, engines, guys. Uh, chances are, uh, it's aftermarket warranty. Um, last one I did, a customer ran under a puddle of water and hydrolocked the engine. All right, you cannot fix that. <laughs> Okay, in fact, watch this video right here. Uh, that was a van. I had to take that engine out of that van and uh, replace it with, remember guys what we talked about before you just install the engine? Look, this is broke. So hopefully a tram, he'll see this. I mean, we're pretty sure, ooh, this, ooh, that is tight, guys. I'm hoping you're not gonna use this. Even that, look how that's rubbing up against that. You gotta inspect this stuff, man. Some guys, they'll just take the engine and put it in like this. Like, wait a minute, man. Surely, that's collapsed or smashed. You ain't gonna use none of that, but see, that's how we get extra coils and stuff like that from these engines. Uh, guys, even used OEM coils are better than some of the aftermarket brand new coils nowadays. Because the minute you pull it up on this, the other part will stay in there and just come apart. They just cheap piece of junk. All right, so. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what this going in. What, what this dude got? Hey, whoa, wait a minute. Okay. Oh, this the one with the broke cradle. Oh, this is another insurance job. Yeah, y'all see all of this? Where's the bent at? I heard he had a, they banged up something. Yeah, I can see all of that, that whole cradle going in this car. And all these rear suspension parts. So they obviously banged up pretty bad something back here and I want to see it oh 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 Ooh. yeah you need a cradle I'm sure you got the lower control arm the springs and all that oh this one got I hope this one another one of those spin jobs y'all remember the last cradle video I did was, uh, guys doing burnouts and they accidentally Bumping into stuff, running into stuff, just reckless, stupid, man. Just tearing up their cars for nothing. That's why our insurance is so high, trying to compensate for other bad drivers. So instead of raising those individuals' insurance, they sometimes, look at this, have to raise everybody rate. Ooh, I don't like these guys. These come from the body shop, man. I told you, body shop would do anything body related. Uh, up until a certain point they don't like yeah this is heavy mechanical stuff here they don't like all this stuff so they'll send it to the shop and you best believe you will find one greedy greedy dude in the shop to do it let me see what my man doing over here look like a nag transmission in the jeep good give me a break all right good thing about this i don't think it was four wheel drive no it wasn't Whew. My man dodged the bullet. See how easy that is, guys? The bell housing boats. Bzz, 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 and they come right out. I hate those units with four wheel drive and all wheel drive. I just hate them with a passion. Just way too much. Nag, five speed transmission, guys. We're done with five speeds. We are up to eight speed uh, rear wheel drive units, and nine speed on the front wheel drive. <laughs> he's using his breaker bar, or he's using his torque wrench as a breaker bar. Must can't find his breaker bar. All right. But uh, I'm just walking around being nosy, guys. I don't know what everybody up to. But, yeah, you got that nag in. Let's go down here, guys. I want to show y'all something. What I'm going to do. Y'all remember the uh, 3.6 uh, leak? The off-field adapter housing leak? Uh, come to find out that... Uh, oh, this is the, the big tram issue. That, that housing is not really leaking, guys. So, we it can be fixed with just O-rings. So, let me show y'all what I'm going to do. All right, so here's the box. I kept the box of that old one, and here's the old part. This turned out to be a, a what did I say, AG or something? No, AF. Okay, this is not a old revision number. It's an older revision number by one, but uh, there's nothing wrong with this housing. Okay, so what I did is went and got, look, uh, the O-ring kit. Yes, guys, these are no more than 15 bucks. 
So what I'm going to do is so-called recondition this. Okay, I'm not rebuild from a standpoint of resealing. All right, now on that new one I put in, guys, there was three orange ones on it. And somebody pointed out to me, I can't remember his name, that the orange ones likely for the cooling passages. One, two, three. These was orange on the new one. Yes, guys, these are all collapsed flat. It's likely where the oil leak was coming from. But again, nobody wants to take a chance. So what I'm going to do is use this as a used one. Okay, at Brothers Motors. I can't do it here at the, at the dealership. So, yes, and I would sell it as a used. I would let the customers know you can save. Because these are almost 200 bucks. According to Ruley, they like 200 bucks at the dealership. Maybe 89 uh, from aftermarket. So I'm going to sell it at the U, at uh, aftermarket price, even though the body is new. In other words... I have deemed necessary or I have deemed ain't nothing wrong with the construction of the body it's just these crappy seals leaking so I went up and bought like I say here's a kit number if anybody it's is it risky I mean it depends on your I wouldn't go below somebody else point this out too I wouldn't go below a F all right this is a F revision come on focus so yeah I wouldn't go below that a F and higher guys AG likely gonna have the orange stuff. AG is top of the line. But yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna clean this up. Keep it in this box. Take it over to Brothers Motors. Next one we get, we're gonna sell from a uh, used aftermarket standpoint. We're gonna, it's gonna be just like new. Cause remember, there's nothing wrong with the body. It was just leaking under the bottom. So uh, I'll make use of this. Of course, change the filter. Remember guys, when you buy these, they come with a new oil filter in it so i'm gonna clean it up brake clean i'm gonna make it look just like new there's nothing wrong with it i looked all over i'm gonna verify the torques the bits are tight everything so yeah it's a part you can sell uh from a aftermarket standpoint okay so uh what i got going i got a wrangler right here guys uh I actually sold some good stuff on this uh as far as uh powertrain Y'all notice this high as I can go up, guys. Once you, once you peg out, hit that lift and stop. So I'm gonna have to work on my knees. Here we go with this four-wheel drive stuff, but so the nag train service, so and differential service and things like that. So that's all I got going. So we'll talk some more, guys. So y'all stay tuned, man. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Come and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video.